Good morning. Welcome to Graced for today. Blessings, everybody. Okay. We're going to give you all a few moments to uh, come on and um, we'll get started with our teaching for today. Please don't forget to share as you come on. That will be great. All right. I see some people are on. God bless you. Thank you for waiting for me. Don't forget this Saturday, Yazoo City. It's Grace for Today Day. <laughs> yes, it is. It's Grace for Today Day in Yazoo City. And uh, we hope that those of you who are in the area who can come by and say hi or send somebody over there, whatever. We'll have a few products and we're going to do some teaching, maybe around 1045 um, or so. But Lord willing, we'll be there a little bit before 10 to set up and get started. And we're going to share the word of the Lord <clears throat> and fellowship with the saints. Amen and amen. All right. God bless everybody. Good morning, Missionary Quinn. Good morning to each of you. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to look at verse... Um, I think I put on there something different than what I'm doing, but I'll go back and fix it. But if you'll share from here, it'll probably be about right. So <laughs> we'll kind of see. But yeah, let's uh, let's look at verse 20. Let's start at verse 23. I'm just going to read through there just to be sure. But we're going to be, we're going to go and start at verse 29. It says then the King James Version, let me read it from my mama's Bible. That would be the simplest thing. It's clearer to you as well. Verse 23 says this, the steps of good men are directed by the Lord. He delights in each step they take. If they fall, it isn't fatal. For the Lord holds them with his hand. What a great promise. What a great promise. The Lord, it's not fatal. You fail, it's not fatal. You had issues, it's not fatal. God has a way, hey Kendra, hey Dorothy Greer, of redeeming our lives from destruction. So whatever the enemy thought was going to take you out, it's only used as a stepping stone to catapult you forward. Let's be clear. It's only used as a catapult to push you forward. So, he says... In verse 25, I have been young and now I'm old. And in all my years, in all my years, I've never seen the Lord forsake a man who loves him. You know, that is extraordinary by itself. I mean, I've never seen the Lord forsake a man who loves him. You love God, he is not going to. I'm not going to do that what popped in my head from... Um, Mary, Mary, whatever one of the sisters' name. She, uh, you know, you, you don't love God, what's wrong with you? You know, I'm not going to do that. But the thing is, he says, the Lord doesn't forsake those who, hey, Rakesha, but he does not forsake those who love him. You love the Lord, he promises to bring good things your way. Yes, you may have some trials, you may have some tests, but the Lord doesn't forsake us. Leave us alone. Hey, V Hunt. He doesn't leave us alone. He promised to go with us. Let me read. I want to get sidetracked. Nor have I seen the children of the godly go hungry. Instead, the godly are able to be generous with their gifts and loans to others and their children are a blessing. Their children are a blessing. Verse 27, so if you want an eternal home, leave your evil low down ways and live good lives. Now, you need to figure out from the word of God, what does God determine as evil low down ways? I believe it's anything that takes us away from the presence of God. I don't care what it is. Well, the Bible don't address this. It, does it take you away from the presence of God? Do, it, it, if the scripture says it clearly, there's no doubt. But the, the scripture doesn't cover this. It doesn't cover that. Okay, stop looking for excuses to sin. 
or to do things that take us away from the presence of God. Whatever pleases God. Good morning, Kasten. Your mama looking too. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, James Jr. So, he says, if you want an eternal home, leave your evil low down ways and live good lives. For the Lord loves justice and fairness. He will never abandon his people. He will never, ab even when, when the children of Israel were acting a fool and got pulled into slavery. Absolutely. Um, when they were in slavery, God was still watching. He was still watching. He was still listening. So he's never left. We used to sing that song. He never have left me alone. No, he never has left me alone. By night, by day, he's with me all the way. He never, I don't think that's right, but it sounded fine. Ah. Exactly. You got to, Brandy, you got to look at what's being produced. We should, he says clear here, he will never abandon his people. So when you have those feelings, feelings that tell you God ain't listening to you, you know he's lying. You know the devil is lying. The Holy Ghost will want you to continue to seek the Lord no matter what. The Holy Ghost will want you to pursue God. The, exactly, Sister Holly, girl, you know I'm old school, right? I can hang with y'all, but I'm just saying the Holy Ghost is not going to push you away from God. He will want to purify you, to clean you up, to draw you closer. That's what his job is. That's what his job is. So when we look into the word of God, we should look for God to give us reassurances of what his posture is toward us. The godly, verse 29 is where I wanted to be today. I have five, four minutes. The godly shall be firmly planted in the land and live there forever. Now, you talk about guidance. The, even if you can't see it, you don't know what step. What step is next? You ought to at least have confidence in what God says in his word. He promised that he would firmly plant us in the land and we would live there, not just exist. We would live there forever. We would abide. We would produce. We would bring harvest. Good morning, Regina. Good to see you. Good morning, Lady Phyllis. Good morning, Ladybug Holloway. Blessings. When we understand this, when we get this, we should have comfort. He says, they will be, um, oh, I, I skipped that part on verse 20, 27, 28. Let me go back and read that. They will be kept safe forever. This is the godly. But all who love wickedness shall perish. You better guard your atmosphere. You better guard your circle. He says this, the godly man is a good counselor because he is just and fair and knows right from wrong. Listen, you cannot counsel people and tell them what they want to hear and think that's okay. It's not. People need truth. The truth makes free. You don't have to be ugly and nasty, but you ought to be able to give truth. They may hear it that way because they want to hold on to their evil. What does it say? Evil low down ways. They may want to hold on to that and they may not want to hear the truth, but we're responsible for speaking truth even to those who don't want to hear it because the truth, God, it makes free. All right. I got three minutes. Listen, we should love people enough to give them the truth. Love people enough to give them the truth. Your evil low down ways are leading you the wrong, down the wrong path. Your evil low down, you calling me evil? No, I'm saying your behavior and how, what you're doing, your actions 
the scripture calls them low down and evil because they are keeping you from the good things that God has for you. That's the simple truth. Some people wonder why they work hard, make money, and they can't keep no money in their pocket. There's a problem. You didn't follow God's plan. Even when sinners, when they follow God's plan, they get a blessing. Even when sinners follow God's plan of financial increase, they get a blessing. When they tithe and give to churches or to people who are doing the work of the Lord, they get a blessing because God promised. God promised. And if God promised, he reigns on the just and the unjust. God gave a promise and God keeps his promises. He's looking for somebody. They may not get to heaven, but there are blessings if they don't get saved, get born again, come to know Jesus. But if they follow, if they bless, if you bless people of the people of God, there's a blessing waiting for you. There is a blessing for you because God promised. You want financial increase? You better sow into good ground. Oh, it's not the same as sowing or giving to Salvation Army or to the Red Cross or to whatever your charity is. That's different. God ain't got no promises for that. He does say you who gives to the poor, you lend to the Lord. But some of those organizations, their salaries are much bigger than what they actually give to the poor. But if you're giving to a household of faith or to ministries that are serving the kingdom of God, God gave a promise. He gave a promise that he would bless. He would restore. That's his plan of salvation. I need to get his plan of financial increase. All right. And it went off a little bit. I just need to make sure people understand here. The, God, the godly man or woman is a good counselor because he knows, uh, because he is just and fair and knows right from wrong. Some people don't know what's right and what's wrong. Don't you think because a person is a senior citizen, they know what's right and what's wrong? Some of them don't. Some of them don't. Let me at least read verse 32. Evil men spy on the godly waiting for an excuse to accuse them and then demanding their death. That's what it says right there in Psalm 37, verse 32. Evil men, I don't care how what position they hold. It doesn't matter how much money they make. You can be the, the, the janitor and have the peace of God and the person who is your supervisor struggles because they don't understand how you're so at peace. They spy on the godly, waiting for any excuse to accuse them and then demanding their death. Listen, don't be shocked. Don't think it's strange concerning the fiery trials that are to try you as though some strange thing happened to you. The Bible says to count it all joy. Rejoice. He says, verse 33, I'm going to read this and I'll pick up verse 33 tomorrow. He says, but the Lord will not let those evil men succeed, what I tell you, nor let the godly be condemned when they, they are brought before the judge. God gave a promise. God honors his word. And we are going to believe what God's word says about us, to us, and for us. Doesn't matter who opposes us. Doesn't matter who accuses us. We need the wisdom of God to know what to do. Hallelujah. Don't you let your mouth get you in something that God has told you to be quiet in. God, there's an old song. God's going to separate the wheat from the tares. I don't know the rest of that. Oh my gosh, it's an old song I heard on a recording on um, either YouTube or I purchased or something. He going to uh, separate the wheat from the tares. He'll do that. He will, he will watch over you so that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God, hallelujah, will raise up a standard against him. We need to trust that God, just because you don't see him, doesn't mean he's not working. As somebody sings that song, even when you can't see him, he's working. He is still working, Romans 8, 28, in your life. And this we know, that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose.
he will. Let's trust that. Let's pray. My time is gone. Father, thank you so much for what you're working in us. Thank you for the confidence that we have, that you are moving by your spirit, that your anointing breaks and destroys every yoke. You help us. You give us grace. You give us strength. Lord God, move on our behalf. Speak for us. Speak through us. Help us to know that you are guiding us. Even when we don't see it, we know that our times are in your hands. When we don't feel it, we know that you are working things out for us. You are causing the hearts of men to turn and every evil worker, every evil doer, every person who throws a rock and hides their hands. Father, we ask you now that you would vindicate your sons and daughters, that you would show yourself strong. We don't have to scratch when we're not itching or laugh when it's not funny. God, you go before us. Hallelujah. Give us favor as we need it. We honor you. We bless you. And we thank you for it. In the mighty name of Jesus. So it is. Amen. All right. My time is gone. Yes, ma'am. It's in the works. It's in the works. It's in the works. All right. So let's be clear about trusting God. Let's expect God to move for us, to show up for us. Change your ex. When you're, when you're sitting there, you know, because you're bored and you're looking at Facebook, decide that you're going to get you some scriptures. I don't have an index card on my desk, but I have some paper. Get you some paper and start writing out scriptures. Don't waste your time. Get to, write, you don't know all, find you, write out Psalm 23. Write out Romans 8, 28. Do like we did when we were in school. You write it enough, you'll remember it. Write out scriptures. Get your promise book. I don't, I do have one here. This is my mama's promise book. You get your promise book. And you start writing out those scriptures. Write out what the word of God says. Write out, write it out and believe it in your, write it by your own hands. It don't matter if it's a long scripture. You got more time than you do anything else. Let's trust that. I will, let's just trust the word of God. Let's believe what his word says about us. I gotta go. Don't forget Saturday, 10 a.m. We'll be in Yazoo City at Sassy Dan Designs Boutique. I've already shared it on my page and on, hopefully I think I shared it on Grace for today. It's pinned at the top. Join us if you're in the area. Drop by and say hi. Have some refreshments. Well, I hope to be teaching between about 10, 45, 11 o'clock for about 20 to 30 minutes. Or as the Lord leads. I'm there from 10 to 12, Lord willing. Um, so y'all pray for us. But we'll do a Grace for Today live, hopefully, on that Saturday. Um, so join us Saturday at 10 a.m. And join me in the morning at 7.15 a.m. Central Time. Until then, remember this. Time spent in the Word of God is never wasted. And you have been graced for today. Let's continue to pray for someone. Pray for them. Pray for those who are grieving. Because your prayers matter. All right. See y'all in the morning. Have a great day. Peace.